Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Good news, we got Jimmy's trailer back from the XMC Racing track. In addition to Jimmy's trailer, may I present to you this thick and juicy I have liberated this model from the XMC Racing Channel and I think she belongs with us. I'm sure you guys will agree. Leave your comments below. Yesterday I posted a quick little video just showing you guys the basement here where I do the recording actually got wet and we had to yank the floor out of this place so it's been kind of a disaster. I got a couple boxes I've been saving. This one's from Daniel LaForce, patron member. And then I got another one from my homie, Kyle Kelly. I'll do this one first. This is from Daniel. What is this? Made in USA, snaps together easily, photographs of the actual model. No way, this is a little plastic 57 Chevy model? Is that what I'm seeing? Dudes, look at this thing. 143 scale, junior collector series hobby kit. Pimp, since it's a scale model, it's gonna have all the details that we'd expect. I know she's plastic and uh, we work on die cast, but I mean, you won't be able to tell. This thing will just look like a million bucks when it's done. So we're gonna go out of the realm of normal and we're gonna build this thing for sure. Thank you, Daniel, for sending this in. This will be a real fun project. Looking forward to it. Tons of details that we can paint and make pretty. We got a box here from Kyle Kelly. This one feels good. See what we got. Hopefully we got some juicy projects in here. Haven't really worked on anything for a while, so this is uh, this is exciting. Oh, we got a letter. Let me read this bad boy first. Hi, Diecast Resurrection. I love watching your videos and seeing your incredible painting skills. I've painted a few Hot Wheels myself, but I've been using rattle cans, so they never look as good as your paint jobs. I've included in this package a few cars for you to work your magic on. A Datsun Fair Lady Z is a failed paint job attempt. Oh, I'll have to check that out. It's a failed paint job attempt that the dog got a hold of. <laughs> I've also included some 124 scale shop accessories that I no longer have any use for and the engines came out of some castings that I rubbed the wheels off of. Can't wait to see what you do with these castings. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be incredible. Enjoy, Kyle K. Thank you, Kyle K, for your support, my friend. Let's have a look. Is that a Cadillac gas pump I saw? Dude, look at this thing. Got a little hose. Hell yeah. Bing, bing, bing. Standard of the world. I don't really recognize this logo, but hell yeah, this thing's beautiful. It's metal, like this thing's pretty heavy. What else we got here? Fully automatic battery charger. No way. Check out these little... <laughs> Look at them little clips, man. That's awesome. Super cool. We're gonna have to set up some stuff and get some pictures taken. We got a little engine stand with some kind of V8 on here. What do we got? What are them exhaust ports telling us? Chevy? Click, 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 click. Hell yeah, that's cool. Oh, I recognize this. We got a little cutting torch. The regulators. Got an oxygen and acetylene bottle. These are actually really cool. I used to braze drill bits in the oil industry. So we used to use these cutting torches pretty well every day. Changing out bottles every day. We got an air compressor with some auxiliary hose. Detail on these things are incredible. Take this little weld here, that makes it look so realistic because that's exactly how these things are built. Very nice. No excuses now not to have some diorama action, right? There's our little rolling chest, toolbox. Hell yeah, we got a whole shop now. Holy cow, is that what I think it is? 132 scale. This says it's a 1980 Chevy K5 Blazer. Dude, so four by four. You've got Chevy hubcaps on the back on steel rims, which would be real sweet if they were chromed. Being a 4x4, the little caps are blanked in the front because you'd have your locking hubs there. Hell yeah, I can't wait to work on it. We're going to definitely probably be two-toning this thing because those look the best. We got an arc welder. Super cool. We got a little battery. Oh dang, here's the top part of the chest. We got a whole workshop here. This is amazing. 
Gleek, 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 gleek. Beautiful, man. This is a Hot Wheels way too fast. I'm pretty sure I had one of these before, but this orange with the checkers is pretty sweet. There's our vintage Nissan, Fair Lady Z. Check out the wide body on those. That's intense. Pimp, what's this, a Torino? 72 Grand Torino Sport, bro. Look at that car. Dude, that thing's sweet. Chrome interior. Glee, 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 glee. Needs a wheel swap. That's a nice casting. I really like that one. It's nice and clean looking. Definitely needs some wheels. What else we got here? Ooh, some kind of weird tow truck thing. I ain't ever seen one of them before. Let's hook up our Torino here. We got a Falcon Tire Chevy Camaro. That's a nice little casting. Tinted windows. It's pretty sweet, man. So according to Kyle's letter, this is the one he painted. So maybe we'll have to go with the same orange vibe and we'll just redo it. These must have been the wheels he had in mind for this thing. Cool. So that's a project there. We'll do this little Fair Lady Z. We'll use these wheels and maybe we'll just kind of take his vision and we'll just take it a step further. So that's pretty sweet. Get some spare engines. Last but not least, we got a couple carded Johnny Lightnings here. Wow, look at this one. What is that thing? Definitely Dodge. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Chance card Dodge Dart. That's what it is. That thing's got some awesome wheels on it. Trunk is open. Rear engine Dodge Dart. So we got a rule here on uh, Diecast Resurrection where every car that gets donated gets stripped. So this Monopoly Chance Dodge Dart is going to be no more. We're going to have to strip it and do something sweet with it. Pretty cool. Even got a little collector piece there for your Monopoly set. We're going to be painting everything that gets sent in. So keep that in mind. Don't send me your treasures. You know, send me your junk if you want to send me anything. Badass. We're gonna do something real cool with that. And the last one here is Waterworks Chevy Cameo. It's like a 55, 56. So this is another one that, you know, we are gonna strip, but I, I do feel guilty. It's always fun getting new projects, right? Thank you so much, Kyle, for your donations. This is awesome. I'm hoping we can do something with all these little diorama bits. Maybe I'll be able to use them for some videos, make some content with it. And of course, a big shout out to Daniel for sending me in the 57 Chevy here. I haven't built a plastic model in ages, but uh, I think I might even have some parts where we can kit bash a little bit with this thing. So it might be fun to do something a little bit different. So we'll keep this in mind for an upcoming video. I had a couple projects last week that got backburnered and I'm hoping to pick those up this week here now that I've got everything back in order and somewhat organized. So I'll be back in a day or so with a new video. So until then, keep your stick on the ice. Thanks to Kyle and Daniel for the donations. Namaste. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. See you later.